What's up everyone? Sam here from bitebybite.com and in this video I want to share with you another recent Facebook Live that we did where I cover the number one thing that you can do to like 100x your productivity as you're preparing for your interviews. And on February 3rd, I'm teaching a free masterclass called the Four Horsemen of the Whiteboarding Apocalypse at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Totally free. Go to bitebybite.com slash masterclass to sign up if you haven't already. What's up everyone? Sam here from bitebybite.com and I'm so excited to be here talking to you today. I just wanted to share something with you really quick. We're not gonna go on some long tangent. I just wanna share with you one crunchy tactic that you can use to improve your coding interviews as you're preparing in this year. Sound good? Awesome. So here's the deal. A lot of times there are so many things that we can focus on and we spend so much time studying different practice problems and doing different uh, like studying different data structures and algorithms and the list just goes on and on and it can feel like you're not making a whole lot of progress right like it kind of feels sometimes like you're just going through the motions and you're doing the same thing over and over again and it's like why the hell do I keep doing this when I'm not making the progress that I want to and so that's what I want to share with you today just one tactic that you can use to make sure that you're actually making progress and this might sound simple, but I guarantee you that if you apply this, it's going to be a total game changer. And that is that I want to switch your I want you to switch your mindset from thinking about the what to thinking about the how. And so what do I mean by this? A lot of times, like let's consider if you're doing practice problems, for example, you go through a problem and you know, you basically study the problem for a while, you try and figure it out, and then maybe you get stuck at some point. And then what do you do? You look at the solution and you, and you say, okay, now I understand the solution to this problem, right? So you understand the what, the what of this particular problem, the what of what is the solution to this particular problem. So if you see that exact problem in your interview in the future, you're going to know how to solve it, right? But the problem is that that doesn't give you any actual, uh, it doesn't help you make any progress towards the real goal, which is not to be able to solve that specific problem, but it's to be able to go into your interview and be successful and be able to solve any problem, right? It's not like your interviewer is telling you beforehand what problem they're going to ask you. And so when you switch, when you start with thinking about the what, you end up with this very granular approach where it's like you're always just doing the one thing and you're always just making progress on that one little thing that is progressing you so slowly towards your interview. And what I want you to think about instead is think about the how. And so consider when you're doing a practice problem again. So you do the problem and maybe you get stuck on the problem. And this happens to all of us, like especially if you're doing harder problems, you're not really expected as you're preparing to be able to solve all the problems, right? That's why you're preparing for your interviews. But if you get stuck on the problem, it's not sufficient to just look at the solution and say, okay, that makes sense. When you go look at the solution, the point of looking at the solution is not to understand how to solve that problem. I know that sounds weird, but I'll say it again. The point of looking at that solution is not to learn how to solve that problem. It's to learn how to take those strategies and apply them to any problem. It's to learn how you could solve 10 other problems that are completely different from this problem and be able to solve them in your interview. And so when you look at the solution, what you're looking at is not the what is the solution to this problem. It's the what is the thought process? How did the person solve this problem? And so think about it when you're looking at the problem. I want you to ask yourself a couple questions. First of all, I want you to ask yourself, where did I get stuck on this problem? This is if you're doing a problem and you get stuck and you end up looking at the solution. One, where did I get stuck on this problem? What was it that actually made me get stuck and why didn't I understand it? Two, when you look at the solution, how did that person actually come up with this solution? Not what is the solution and why does that make sense? How did they actually work through starting with the same knowledge that you had, right? You all, we all start from the same place. We all have the same basic information, which is the definition of the problem. How did they get from that problem definition all the way through to getting the solution 
and getting a solution that was efficient. How did they take that brute force solution and what was the thought process behind it? Because if you can understand that thought process, you can then take that thought process and apply it to your own studying. And number three, think about what are the things that I could do in the future to apply these same sort of strategies to other problems, right? You of course want to understand the solution to the problem, but if you can understand the how, if you can understand the logic behind it, understand what that person was thinking when they came up with the solution, it's going to completely shift your mindset to be able to not just think about what is the solution? What is the solution? What is the, you know, what is this thing I need to learn? What is this? What is this? What is this? You're thinking about the how, you're thinking about the logic behind it, and you're starting to think more, not intelligently, but sort of more um, in a more nuanced way. You're starting to think in a way that's going to really allow you to get those results. And so I'd highly encourage you to try this out the next time that you're doing a practice problem. I think you're going to see a huge difference in like the results that you get because it becomes not just about that problem anymore, but you're going to see results across the board for all the problems that you're solving. So really think about this as you're going into your interview prep in 2020. How do you switch from that why or that what mindset to that how mindset? And I highly encourage you to test that out. If you enjoyed this video and if you want to get some more stuff from me, I'd highly encourage you to check out, go to bitebybite.com slash guide. We have a free guide on 50 of the most common interview questions. You can apply this strategy to any of the questions in the guide. I just totally revamped it. So if you haven't downloaded it recently, get a new copy of it. There's a brand new guide up there. Really good stuff. I Someone was literally telling me the other day that they saw that exact problem in one of their interviews. So I highly encourage you to check it out. I appreciate you sticking around with me today. And we're doing these lives Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at noon. So make sure that you put that on your calendar as well. If you want to come join me, I'd love to have you join me. Ask any questions you want. I'm going to be here. Got lots of good stuff planned. And I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. Thanks for sticking with me to the end here. If you enjoyed this and want a ton more from me, go to bitebybite.com slash masterclass where you can sign up for our Four Horsemen of the Whiteboarding Apocalypse Masterclass that I'm teaching on February 3rd. I really hope to see you there. And if you enjoyed this, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to seeing you all again in the next video.